The U.S. Department of Energy's Brookhaven National Laboratory has been a major beneficiary of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, the so-called Economic Stimulus Bill passed by Congress in 2009 to help jumpstart the American economy. The more than $250 million awarded to the lab by the Department of Energy's Office of Science will support a wide array of construction, infrastructure, and research projects across the lab site and create or save hundreds of jobs. Most of the funds are earmarked to help the lab accelerate the pace of construction on its premier science project, a state-of-the-art light source with advanced capabilities. The National Synchrotron Light Source 2 will provide sophisticated new tools for discovery class science, science that will enhance national and energy security and help drive abundant, safe and clean energy technologies. $150 million in stimulus funds have allowed Brookhaven to accelerate several key parts of the project. Marty Fallier explains. The structure that you see behind me is the accelerator tunnel for the NSLS2 facility. Uh, this large building, the ring building for the facility, uh, is funded in large part by ARA funds. We've received over a hundred million dollars of ARA funds that are being applied to this project. And that has enabled us to move uh, key elements of this construction uh, ahead in our schedule. It's also created and preserved jobs on Long Island and the New York metropolitan area. And beyond that, uh, given all the materials that will need to be manufactured in the United States for this facility, it's uh, created and maintained jobs all over the United States as well. In addition to the hundred million dollars applied to this building, we have another fifty million dollars of ARA funding that's being applied to other construction elements of the NSLS2 project. Most of those elements are already under construction, creating jobs for Long Islanders and, and workers in the New York metropolitan area. And we have another major project for lab office buildings that will be funded with ARA funds, which will be awarded soon and will also create more jobs in the local economy as well as in the United States manufacturing arena. Stimulus funds are also being used to accelerate environmental cleanup actions related to the decommissioning of two of Brookhaven's research reactors that enabled valuable scientific discoveries. My name is Michelle Pizzuli and I'm a project manager for the Environmental Restoration Projects. This is the Building 811-801 Waste Transfer Line Removal Project and today we are looking at uh, excavation of soil overburden as part of this project. Um, we are removing soil to expose the waste transfer lines and after we're finished with that we will be removing the waste transfer lines. The stimulus money funded this project, whereas it wasn't funded before, so it accelerated the cleanup. We weren't expecting to be able to do it this year, and stimulus money enabled us to clean it up sooner, which is good for the environment. Stimulus money will also provide for performance upgrades to the Phoenix Detector, part of Brookhaven's relativistic heavy ion collider. This important project helps researchers understand why the physical world works the way it does. Ed O'Brien explains. What we intend to do in Phoenix is build a state-of-the-art detector that will measure some very rare and very short-lived particles that will tell us a lot about the quark coulomb plasma, about the characteristics of the quark coulomb plasma that we discovered here at the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider. Over 400 Long Islanders work here at RIC, and in order to keep a future beyond the next few years to the year 2020 and even further into the future than that, we need this kind of federal program, the stimulus money, to upgrade our detector, upgrade our facility, expand our physics program, and keep us competitive in a very difficult international world. The st federal stimulus money allows this to happen. Infrastructure improvements are also being made to several key science buildings, thanks to funding provided to the lab through the stimulus bill. Groundbreaking occurred in late 2009 for a new interdisciplinary science building an energy efficient and environmentally sustainable laboratory building grouping energy research scientists in an environment that encourages multidisciplinary collaboration. Mike Schaefer explains. The design started about a year ago and will be completed uh, shortly. It's advanced based on ARA funding so that we could go out for bid earlier than originally planned. The dirt you see right here is the beginning of that and supported by our funding because we were able to do site preparation, relocation of utilities, things of that nature. We'll be on the street out for bid in about three months and construction on the full facility will start this summer about three to six months ahead of originally planned and likewise we will finish the entire project about three to six months ahead of schedule 
based on our funding. In addition to the ISB funding, we have uh, received $18 million in stimulus funds to do a roofing and additional mechanical and electrical upgrades. This is entirely new money coming to the laboratory and will be give us an opportunity to hire uh, about 50 to 100 additional Long Island craftsmen to uh, support the maintenance program at BNL as a great benefit uh, based on our funding. For more than six decades, Brookhaven Lab has been providing answers to the nation's most critical scientific questions and translating that knowledge into the technologies that can positively impact our daily lives. With help from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, we look forward to extending that tradition many decades into the future.